Hi everyone, I'm Ebony Liddell, the author of Love Radio, and this is my love letter to Detroit, the setting for the book. It was really important for me to set this novel in Detroit because growing up, I had never read any YA romance novels that spoke to me or my experience. And I wanted to read a novel where the drama and, you know, all these other things that happen in the teenager's life in the inner city that are valid, you know, should be included, but they're not at the forefront of the novel. And it wasn't until I got older and I started working in publishing that I realized, oh, I wasn't reading them because they didn't exist. And so when I was thinking about the two characters, Danny and Prince, Danny, I knew she would be a writer, wanted to move to the big city, but Prince, I didn't know immediately what I wanted him to do. And I couldn't get away from thinking about music and radio. When I realized I wanted him to be a love expert, because I started thinking of like all these radio stations and the love advice that they would give, I knew that Detroit as a city had to be a character within this story. I grew up listening to old school music from the moment I was born. Apparently I knew how to sing songs before I could even talk. It's just such a major part of the city and once I realized that that was going to be a part of the story, it made so much sense for it to be set there. It made it so easy for me to write about it because I was writing about, you know, my own personal fond memories of the city. And same thing with the radio, you know, black radio has been around for, you know, decades and it's been a really integral part of how music got out to the world. Some of my favorite locations in the book are the tree lighting ceremony at Campus Marshes Park, Northland Skating Rink, which I can't say I know how to skate anymore, but I used to skate a lot. And then there's also just a lot of random things about the city that I included in the book, just like the subtle details, the little nuggets that I feel really show the heart of the city. So it was really exciting to kind of weave those elements into the story as I was writing it. I am so excited to have you all read it and I really hope that if you haven't read it yet, you enjoy it.